What's going on everybody? Sarah behind the camera again wanted to start off with the chickens because people love chickens. That's not true. But we're going to be doing a special episode today just for Matt Pangrak of Bass Talk Live. Uh, if you saw the episode of BTL not too long ago, Matt and I got onto a rant regarding the stuff we carry with us to make sure that we're gonna be uh, safe on the water, make sure we have everything in case something breaks or maybe one of the roommate's boats something breaks, just so we have everything we need because one of the worst things on the road is when you need something and can't find it or have to drive like two hours away to get a stupid you know, part that you could have had with you. So uh, over the years, I've really started to uh, accumulate a bunch of different stuff so I'm getting ready to pack up for one of my tournaments throwing a bunch of stuff in the truck because generally when I get home from a tournament I take it out because otherwise I've got just a bunch of stuff in my truck and I don't have room for anything else so I'm putting everything back in so I'm doing this video specifically for Maddie over a Bass Talk Live because he wanted to see what I have I'm a little I, I'm not even sure how this video is gonna go because honestly like this this is the meat and potatoes tin But this is also the bin that has everything I've probably thrown in here based on things that I've learned over my not just 13 years of fishing professionally, but Probably like 20 years of driving around fishing local tournaments, too I've had this bin with me forever. It looks like hell, but it's full of so many random things that uh, I don't know how this is going to go because this is not set up by any means. I just slid everything over to throw it in my truck. I grabbed Sarah to film the video. So I just want to show you some of the things that I carry with me. Uh, so let's start this off. Otherwise, I'll ramble forever. I will say shout out to Bass Talk Live. Guys, if you uh, enjoy tournament bass fishing and the fishing industry and you haven't subscribed to uh, Bass Talk Live, go do that on YouTube. I love their stuff is great. Uh, great stuff to listen to if you're driving or maybe at work and just bored with your work and want to listen to fishing Check that out. Okay, let's start it. So this is all stuff. I carry I'm just gonna Grab some of this stuff quick just to show you so I have one bin this bin right here I carry three batteries with me I don't have this one in here because I really have a hard time lifting all three batteries in but I have one extra battleborn uh, lithium battery that's for my trolling motor that thing is still in the package as you can see i've never had an issue with any of them but i still carry a spare then i've got two agm starting batteries that i carry with me that i feel like over the years i have swapped in and out just because i have had a starting battery go bad on me so i carry extra batteries with me uh some diesel exhaust fluid extra propeller for the old yami i carry some cones because if you happen to stay uh, at a hotel or someplace where you need to disconnect your boat, you might want to mark off a place for your truck so you can come back and actually hook your trailer back up. Otherwise, somebody might park there. And honestly, cones are one of those things that people, especially at hotels, I think, like to just kick them out of the way anyways because they feel like uh, nobody should be allowed to save a spot. But a lot of times it has to do with we just want to be able to hook up our boat again. So anyways... This one, uh, I got a couple of covers. These are power pole covers. I like, anytime I drive early in the year, we've got a lot of salt on the roads up in the northern part of the country. You southern people don't understand that probably, but they put salt or salt brine on the roads to keep them from freezing. We got to deal with it up here. It's really bad to get it like on your electronics, in your boat, causes rust. So I cover up my power poles. This is a motor cover. I've got... Uh, an extra fire extinguisher. I've got uh, some dish, biodegradable dish soap. Some of you might know what that's for from a fishing standpoint. I won't get into that now. I carry with me a big manual charger just in case, uh, just in case I need that if my onboard charger happens to have an issue. A bunch of electrical cords some chucks for the wheels. I've got a big tire ramp in case you get a flat tire on the road. You can easily change with that. You don't have to go find a curb. 
Uh, so that's all kind of the things I carry. And then this is just random stuff, guys. I'm going to pull some random stuff out of here. I've got carabiner clips. This is something if you room, if you room with people, you should have a three-way splitter so that if you end up having only one electrical outlet, you can hook up one, two, or three boats. Problem with that is a lot of times you trip a, a breaker, but it gives you a shot. You got to have a giant flathead screwdriver. Matty Pangrak mentioned that he's got one of these. We all, I feel like, learned the hard way. If you, if you haven't had an issue where you don't have a big flathead screwdriver yet, do yourself a favor. Go buy one so you have it because at some point you will need one. Uh, heat shrink tubing, black duct tape, bungee straps, this is going to take forever, electrical outlets, extra set of pliers, I've got, uh, so I, I've got a whole pile of random socket wrenches, I do have a giant socket wrench kit, I'll show you that in a minute, uh, just lots of random different zip tie sizes, lots of different electrical pieces and bolts that I've I've had off of uh, these are extra like Lowrance parts these are extra battery parts it's always just good to have whatever it is anytime you get something like you buy a new electronic they come with a bunch of different little parts just keep them and save them because at some point you're gonna need them uh, high viz duct tape because you never know if you're gonna need something from a safety standpoint more duct tape uh, electrical tape. Electrical tape is a fisherman's friend too because with all our wiring and everything, you got to have good electrical tape. That saves the day on a lot of things. Baking soda, guys, you know what this is for? If one of your battery trays breaks or your battery flips over and you get battery acid, you should probably try to neutralize it using some baking soda. That Your whole area, wherever that battery acid will spill out, can corrode the area and cause a lot of issues. Use some baking soda to... Uh, I guess neutralize that whole area. I think I've got some cups just because I grabbed those at a hotel one time because sometimes you do want some cups on the road. Uh, here's some KT tape. KT tape, guys, is uh, one of those things you see a lot of times like Olympic athletes wearing when they're running. They have it like on their arms or their legs. I mean, obviously I'm an Olympic athlete, so I've got my KT tape. It's It really does come in handy though for things like uh, tendinitis and if you get some knee pain or shoulder pain I'll put that on it just kind of feels like it holds everything together here's some gorilla double-sided mounting tape lots of tape as you can see here's some velcro gotta have some velcro this is this is an umbrella hat <laughs> I don't know why I have that in there like I said I don't go through this all the time more zip ties here's some uh big uh mounting brackets you can use those to put on like your trolling motor support it can be a help here's a bunch of different fuses uh just more bolts and mounting parts here's a spare tire or a tire a flat tire kit to change a flat tire if you can fix it uh here's a battery tester that just fell out you gotta be able to check your batteries all the time or see where currents is going to most of us fishermen that live on the road probably have a battery tester at this point here's some heavy duty wire cutters here's some trolling motor straps there were uh rust and corrosion connection i've probably got five cans of wd-40 randomly around the truck Got another one here just sitting out in the truck. Uh, hydrogen peroxide, that can be really good for cleaning your cuts. It can be really good to helping fish who have a deeply gutted hook. Uh, more bolts, more nuts, a spare pair of sunglasses. Here, like this is something I probably can take out. This is a Yamaha water filter. Uh, water or fuel filter I should say I don't think this probably fits my current motor I, I should probably check that but you know that's something where on the road somebody else might have something that works or needs it here's a stripper slash crimper big bungee cords always a good thing lots of random parts here's a uh, Oh, this is, yeah, that's a good one, actually, I can talk about. This is a uh, 
extra rearming kit for an inflatable life vest. Lots of random tools. Don't know why I have all those down there. I don't even know what that is. Here's a barometer kit. Just random, random like housing, propeller housing kits. This is a little uh, brake release, a magnetic brake release. A lot of times people, uh, if you're at the boat ramp, sometimes your trailer brakes will jam on you. So you have to turn it into a release mode. This is a little kit that you can connect on there. Uh, and it, it allows you to, it's a magnetic piece that allows you to keep the trailer brakes off so you can actually back up and down if your trailer brakes turn off. So lots of stuff, random spare uh, rod tip glue. I don't know guys, just so much. I mean, there's the bottom of this is just needs to be gone through, but it's just stuff that uh, sunscreen, it's stuff you accumulate over the years where it's like, you gotta, you gotta have all this. Now I'm gonna have a mess putting it all back, but you gotta you gotta have it all because at some point you need it. And I can tell you, probably every other tournament I end up digging through this whole thing to find something I know I've got. I just don't know exactly where it is. So I'll throw this back in. I do want to show you. I've got a few more things. If I can get this all in here real fast. So then I've got. Uh, my truck lock, truck vault locker here. Maybe you guys can see that. So I keep more tools and stuff over on this side that I know I might need. So this is a giant socket kit. It's like a 400 piece tool kit with all kinds of stuff that I have in it. I've got a, a drill. This is fishing line. Another manual charger. Can never have too many of those. Another charger. More spare parts. Trolling motor props. Locks fishing line I mean random all kinds of stuff I mean more tools a bunch of rope uh, toe straps uh, jumper cables basically everything you might need on the road I've got in here I try to carry everything with me so that I don't have to worry if something happens on the road hopefully it makes my wife Sarah a little bit happier that uh, she knows that I've got it all this side is just some fishing stuff. Uh, it's locked, so I don't need to show it to you. That's just fishing stuff. I should keep that secret anyways. Okay, so I've got a lot more stuff in the boat. Maybe we'll save that for another video. Panger, I hope this satisfies you. <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe it's a disappointment as to what I carry with me, but I feel like I've got a lot of stuff that keeps me safe on the road, keeps me on the water. It is my livelihood. I do need to cash checks and I cannot be worrying about stupid stuff that I could potentially have solved if I had it with me. So from that, guys, let me know in the comment section if you have things that we need to be carrying that uh, we don't. I did actually, from that episode, I also went out, I gotta find that, it's somewhere in the car, but I did buy one of those telescopic magnet parts so I can easily reach screws and stuff that I drop in the motor that we talked about. So anyways, in the comment section, what do I need to carry that I may have forgot? What should everyone else carry that I may not have? Thanks for watching. I hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned. We'll have a new video coming out tomorrow.